Before I start this video, I have a very important disclaimer to make. This was planned and filmed weeks in advance, uh, weeks before the invasion of Russia into Ukraine started. Therefore, the content is very lighthearted and has a lot of jokes and skits. Um, nothing that has to do with politics or war, nothing like particularly triggering, at least I don't think so, but still very lighthearted. Uh, so if you think that's not exactly the vibe you need right now, then you should click away. Or perhaps that's exactly the vibe you need right now, you want something lighthearted, in that case I invite you to stay. Uh, I was really debating um, if I should post this video, debating the morality of it. And after thinking about it long and hard, after discussing it with different people and getting different perspectives on the matter, I decided to post this video. Um, and I have two reasons to do that. First of all, uh, because even if it was done as a promotion of this brand, of this Russian brand, uh, it's kind of pointless because this brand is so unavailable in the West. Like seriously, it's just, it's nowhere to be found. It's even on Amazon pretty rare item, much more popular in like East Europe. So uh, it's not a promotion of the brand, it's simply an introduction of something that I've been using for years and you probably are curious about what it is. The second reason is this set is a gift I got from a family member and I know for a fact that this family member will be delighted to see me using and enjoying these watercolors. So this video is also for them in a way. If you still think I should not have posted this video, if you still have like issues with the morality of it, um, like you can definitely comment below and I'll hear you out. I'm curious to see other perspectives on it. Uh, but this is the decision I made after thinking about it for a long time. Another point I wanted to make in this disclaimer, I am, I am begging you to not send any harassment or hate to me or any other Russian-speaking creator, especially if you don't know their stance in this entire situation. None of us chose our nationality and many of us didn't choose this government. So don't, <laughs> simply don't make assumptions and don't spread more toxicity than there should be. And with that grim intro out of the way, I'd like to move on to the actual video. But before I go, I have one last thing to say. Slava Ukraina. О, привет, друзья. Вам, скорее всего, было интересно, где я была все это время. Я только что вернулась из далекого края Сибири, где я искал северное сокровище. Я сражалась с медведями и с разбойниками, которые тоже его хотели. No, yeah, I would have been. Yeah, I will just show you. So, um, I lied to you. <laughs> I never went to Siberia and I never fought with bears. And this treasure I'm about to show you, the northern treasure, actually came from the sponsor of today's video, my grandmother. She traveled to Kazakhstan recently and got me this, these awesome watercolor sets. So, and no, this is not some kind of weird, shady Russian brand. It actually comes from a very long-lived and well-respected brand that is located in St. Petersburg, Russia, called Nevskaya Palitra. So the name of the brand, Nevskaya Palitra, means the palette of Neva. Neva being the name of a river that is very close to St. Petersburg, where the main factory of the brand is located. They have been active since the beginning of the tw uh, 20th century, starting with producing industrial paint and then moving on to oil paint and other art supplies. Keep in mind that I got all these information from like really random corners of the internet because the website of the brand doesn't really have official info on it. So if I am wrong, please correct me. And you've actually seen this brand before on this channel. Remember this? This white box? that's in every single video. That is my mom's old Nevskaya Palitra palette with a set of about 24 colors originally. And this is the very first watercolors I ever used in my life. And till this day, 10 years after, if not more, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's about 10 years, I'm still using the exact same set. 
even though I've slowly been replacing it with Daniel Smith as I run out of colors. <laughs> Especially the My Favorite Indigo one, which I use so much, I ran out of it several times. In fact, hey editor, can I get a really quick compilation of me using and abusing the Indigo? No. Anyway, now that I got not one, but two uh, Nevsky Palitra sets, I can officially show them off on this channel. The two sets I got are the smaller box titled Ladoga and the bigger box titled Biele e Noci. Biele e Noci, after some research, I found is a bit more accessible in the West. I even found it on Amazon Canada and you can probably find it on eBay. Uh, but I am yet to find any Canadian store that has any Nevska Pelitra in stock. So I just assume that it's a brand that is limited to East Europe or just Europe. I'll start with Ladoga. It comes in a paper box containing 24 colors in full pans. My very first impression when opening the box is, wow, that's a lot of reds. About a quarter of the colors are variations of red. It doesn't have my favorite dark blue, unfortunately, so it better make up for it somehow. The pans are covered with plastic sheet which shows the colors and in a moment I will test its accuracy. I have to admit, I had no idea what Ladoga means. I consider myself somewhat fluent in Russian, but because I didn't grow up in Russia, there's a lot of vocabulary I simply don't know. My exposure to the language comes solely from my small family. I thought that maybe it's a play with the word Raduga, which means rainbow, but I was very wrong. I asked my mom about it and she told me that Ladoga is the name of a lake that's also close to St. Petersburg, similar to Neva. So now you also got a mini lesson on the geography of Russia, from the least qualified Russian. I must say, I had very high expectations from this set because I'm already familiar with the brand and Ladoga did not disappoint at all. The colors are super pigmented and they're very smooth, they activate very easily, which is kind of an issue I'm starting to have with my old palette. And they're just great in general. My two favorite shades are the turquoise and the violet rose. These are two colors that I typically have to mix and it's just nice to have them already mixed and ready in the pan. And now let's move on to the bigger and probably more exciting box, Biele e Noci. Biele e Noci means white nights in Russian and that's how I'll refer to the set from now on because I bet my constant switch between languages is giving you a massive headache. This box also contains 24 colors, but this time in tubes rather than pans. I thought at first that the colors, color variety here must be identical to Ladoga, but there are a few differences. For example, White Knights removed the white paint in favor of another shade of yellow. It has the same amount of reds, but different shades from the Ladoga palette. The purple is different, and there are four shades of blue instead of three, which is great for me because I'm a huge fan of blue, as you know. Also, there is no burnt umber, which is kind of a shame because it's the one shade of brown I use all the time. I'll even show the overlapping colors from both palettes, side by side. That makes 12 overlapping colors in total, so half of each set. So if I run out of <laughs> the paint in the pans and Ladoga, I can, some of them, I can replace with the tube paint from Biele Noci. But still, there is no indigo. Why isn't there indigo? That's my favorite shade of blue and both sets don't have it. That makes no sense. I just, I wonder, like, what made the manufacturer decide to just remove that color from all their sets. Like, it's not some kind of niche shade of blue with, that nobody uses, I, I don't think so. Okay, so honestly, I can't even decide which one is my favorite. They are, like, both palettes are pretty much the same. The main difference is just the few colors that are different. One is tube, one is pants. I, chances are I'll probably use the overlapping colors from the tubes to refill the pants, because I just don't work from tubes. Um, and I'll just use them interchangeably and honestly, I'm already thinking that maybe I should just take all the pants from my new paper box and just put them in my plastic box because that's kind of annoying. That's kind of a criticism I have towards the packaging. It's just, it's really cheap and not sturdy. Uh, I th really wish they had the plastic box that is just more comfortable to use, but I guess that would ri raise the price a little bit. Um, so 
yeah, that's my main criticism. But overall, these are very good paints. They're very smooth, very pigmented, super bright. It doesn't have too much of that annoying granulation thing they do sometimes. Like, you know, the pigment separates from the binder. And like, sure, it works when you want to add some texture, but I feel like most people don't. And like, you have to be super careful when you choose your brand. But all of these, they dry very smoothly. And that's awesome. That's something I really like. But I guess the main question in this video, the million dollar question is, is this brand better than Daniel Smith? And in my opinion, I would say very close. Like if Daniel Smith is my 10 out of 10, this would be my 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I even switched to Daniel Smith is because this brand is not so available in Canada. Like I could not find it in any art store. I had only like Van Gogh, Winsor Newton and Daniel Smith. I don't really like Winsor Newton, even though many artists absolutely love this brand. Never tried Van Gogh, I should. So I just like went for Daniel Smith. It had the colors I wanted, it had good reviews, and so I tried it out and fell in love. But yeah, if I could just replace my colors that I run out of, my favorite indigo, if I could replace it with Nevska Palitra, I would have done it absolutely, like at the time when I started running out of paints. If you ever find yourself in like East Europe and the Russian Mafia is telling you, hey, you either paint or die, this is a very good a very good option for you. Very good quality. I know usually when I do like these art supplies review, I make like a tiny painting to demonstrate how it works when I actually use it, but uh, to be honest, I don't have the time. <laughs> uh, I'm very busy and also I just don't see the point because you have seen these paints like on almost every video in action. You have seen them before, so I just don't see the point of like showing it again. You just I just wanted to formally introduce the brand and like show color swatches and talk about my opinion about it. If you want to see me using Nevska Palitra, literally go to any video I ever made. Having said that, I think I'll just end this video right here now. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe, please leave a like if you like this video, leave a comment, I read comments. And don't forget to check out my description box with all my other social media. And I recommend you also follow my Instagram where I am most active either posting art or just pictures of myself with some music recommendations. I'll see you next time. Be safe. Be happy. Bye-bye. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> and... I forgot how to do intros. Outro. I forgot how to do... I forgot how to speak English.